God's been teaching me about his generosity of giving. I think I can honestly say, and I give him glory for this, that I'm now experiencing how God feels when he acts so generously. I was traveling in North Carolina where I have a daughter living there, so it's always nice to go to North Carolina. And I was visiting these friends of mine. They have a little window and house cleaning business. Little pickup truck and husband and wife work together in this business and I've known these people forever. And they invited me to stay with them. They live very humbly. Anyway, when I arrived there, they shared with me that their little pickup truck had given up the ghost. And so their business had to basically fold. And they were looking at going on the dole. So in the middle of the night, while I'm sleeping in the house, God wakes me up and he says, these people are really hurting. I said, yes, they are. God says, well, I would like to give them a vehicle. I said, that's fantastic. This is exciting news. God said, I've actually already got it for them. Well, I said, where is it? He said, it's in the driveway. <laughs> and I thought for a minute, I said, well, that's my car. <laughs> This was the beginning of my learning about God's giving. <laughs> and God said, correction, did I not give you this car? It's actually my car on loan to you and I'd like it back. <laughs> and God said, don't ask. I was about to say, well, what am I going to drive? <laughs> God said, don't ask, just trust me. He said, it's now their car. So uh, breakfast came home. We're sitting at breakfast and I said to this couple, God woke me up in the night and spoke to me about your need of a vehicle. They were really surprised. In fact, I said, God said he wants to give you a vehicle. They got really excited. Well, when's it going to come? I said, well, he's actually already given it to you. <laughs> it's sitting in the driveway. And they said, but... I said, don't say it. He's already rebuked me over this. <laughs> it's your vehicle. Here are the keys. I'm catching the plane and leaving here, but it's your vehicle. And God said, don't ask about yourself. So I flew back to Los Angeles. And one of my sons had several vehicles, so he offered to loan me one, which was very generous of him, so I accepted the offer. And I was driving along Lincoln Avenue in Santa Monica where all the car places are and there's a, a young Muslim guy there named Mohammed that I'd got to know. And he had, uh, I had asked him previously to be on the lookout for a vehicle. And I said, I wouldn't mind getting a nice vehicle but very small cost. He said, okay, I'll look for you. So I thought, why don't I call in and see Mohammed? You never know. So I drove into this little place that he has with all the used cars in it. And he came running out. Bill, Bill, Allah has spoken. <laughs> well, I said, I thought he was talking to you every day. <laughs> yes, but he's spoken about you. Oh, I said, fantastic. What did he say about me? <laughs> He said, Allah says that your vehicle is ready. This is the same week that I've just given away my car. I said, what do you mean? He said, it's here. So I went over and here's a very nice red Audi. Nice car. Oh, I said, Mohammed, remember I said that I wanted a nice car, but small price that car is not a small price car <laughs> and he grinned at me and he said Allah says no charge Allah provided my next vehicle 
I was thanking God for this, and he said, oh, well, remember, it's only on loan. <laughs> oh, it's gone, or oh, I've given it away already. <laughs> I'm learning about how generous God is.